Hello everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. So I've had a package from Calm Over Chaos, which are a UK company that um, provide colouring pens and books. It's literally run by three people. The, the lady in charge, she's really nice. She's got several colouring books out and the Constellation Glitter pens are from her. But on Friday she launched her own set of branded water brush pens. So we're going to have a look at them. We're going to swatch them out and see what they're like. Apparently they do blend very well but I, I don't know because I've literally just opened them. They launched Friday. I got them yesterday and uh, that was Tuesday. It's Wednesday today so you'll probably see this Thursday just because of the way that the uploads go. So, as you can see, it's a lovely packaging, really pretty, Calm of the Chaos branding, 24 brush pens. Now, I will say that they are not cheap, um, with their names on the back. I don't know if they're on the pens, but I'm going to have a look. So, there's a Kingdom of Colour brush pens. Find us online, Calm of the Chaos. They're on Instagram and TikTok. They've got their own website. So go check them out. These are around 20 odd pounds. I think it was 25 like now with shipping. So they're not the cheapest on the market, but it's a small company. I like to support British companies, small ones. So let's have a look. So inside, this is the pens. You do get a water brush pen to, if you wanted to use it as watercolors, um, you can use them as they are, or you can use them and, and they do blend together. Now, it does say Calm Over Chaos on here, but there's no colour on it, so we're going to have to refer to the back. So I'm assuming that this is the first one, as it's the first one. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's, it says Stardust. So we're not going to use the, the brush, it's the water brush itself, but I am going to swatch these very quickly on here and we'll see what they're like. We'll zoom all the way in. Let me just turn this down like this a bit more. Let's get you a bit lower so we can have a look. That's better. Let's have a look. So this is like a neon. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful. Now looking at them, the size of them, they're not going to have a huge amount of ink in. If you look at it, they're very tiny little brushes. But um, colour's great. So that one is, I believe, Stardust. Where's that one? It's hard to say. Um, but, because that looks more orange than yellow, but it is yellow, so I'm going to say that this is Fearless. That's a lovely yellow. We're on to the greens, which are Ogre, uh, Pixie Elga Oaf. Ugh, look, I can't even speak. Oh, that is a lovely colour, isn't it? So they're very, obviously I haven't used them yet, so they've not, the ink's not run right through. But they're all right, they're quite nice. So they've just been sitting in the living room. This one is the next one is called Ogre. So as you can see, they're not going down too well on this paper. Now I don't know whether this is the paper or whether or not it's just because it's the start of the brush and the ink hasn't had time to run through. Um, we'll we'll find out as we go. We're just quickly swatching them. Okay. Oh, throw it on the floor. And I do apologise. <laughs> so. But so far, yeah, I think it's just that the ink hasn't come through yet because they've not been used. It might take a little while for it to come through. What I will do is when I put them back in the box to get the ink flowing through to the nib is I will store them upside down so that the ink can actually run into the brushes. So that's probably all it is. Well, that's a nice green. Forest, that is. Healing is next, it's according to this. Oh, this looks like a sort of. Ooh, ooh. Is that right? Yeah, uh, nice. It's 
sort of an aqua blue an aqua colour like I said I think it's just the ink hasn't had a chance to run in because they've been probably carried in all sorts of directions by the postie so we're just going to show them very quickly and I'll get them charged properly mermaid onto this one although it looks a bit too dark to be it, they, they're not matching the colours on the back to be fair but they're nice colours don't get me wrong this one is called apparently werewolf it looks the same as the other one almost a bit lighter so maybe they should be potentially the other way around don't know I done them all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I don't know about the colours now. I've lost the plot. That's a nice colour. There's one in this They're not in the right order. Something is out of sync. So I'll have a look at them. This because there's no way this is night, it's too pink. So this is gonna be like magic, I would say. So Maybe they are all mixed up, I don't know. Um, this is another pink. Nice nice pink. I mean, I don't really worry about the, the colours, titles. I just look at the colour and think, oh, I like this one, I like that one. That's a nice pink as well. The, the pinks are not that different in shade, to be honest but they are different and they are very nice yeah they definitely need to be charged so I will store them upside down I've got a feeling it's more to do with the um, the way the postie delivered them to be honest oh that orange is nice I say that one is supposed to be Phoenix I would say. Dragon. There's the oranges, they're nice, the oranges. And then the next one. Sorry that I'm not very good at actually showing you these. I'm being terrible. Oh, that's a nice colour. I'm um, crystal, I'd say that one is. Because when they're packing them, they just don't pack them in the order they should be. Which is a shame. So this is a red. And I... Dragon, maybe? I don't really no because it doesn't look like there's actually a red on there they laid all look more orange and that is an orangey red but it's a beautiful color so i don't know uh, another red again doesn't appear to be a red actually on there so i'm not sure Is, I don't know what it is it's a brown oh it's a burgundy brown color again it's hard to say what color that is I need what but if you go on to come of colors TikTok, they do have a video for each one of the pens and they tell you what the name is I will watch that and then I will match them up this one I would say is looking like it's called folklore They're just not in the order that they should be, in my opinion. Uh, this is a brown one, so... 
who knows but it's brown so yeah I think they need to be uh, stored upside down for a bit just so that the ink uh, runs through properly I think it's just um... wow I'm gonna cut a night I think this one is I would say I think there's just not enough running into the pen at the moment so I am actually going to store them upside down this one's going to be witchcraft because it looks like it's going to be a black yeah that's just black so that one's definitely going to be witchcraft So those are the 24 colours from it. Like I said, I do need to potentially charge them up a bit because it looks like they're not doing it. So if I take, just take a red, orange, this yellow, and then this green. Now I'm not very good at blending pens. I will admit that I'm pretty useless. So gonna check the time because I've got to get Jennifer soon oh sorry plenty of time lovely that's what I like to see we have plenty of time I'm just gonna keep these upside down a minute let's get some air ink in them Right, okay. See, now I love this red. This is a really nice red. So once I get the ink running through it properly, it should be really good. Now I've seen her blend her pens. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Um, but obviously hers have been stored in a way that has charged them properly, whereas mine haven't. Yeah, I can see how they would blend. They probably blend better with water. Ooh. Well, I can't hold this going to get water. So, yeah, those are the Calm Over Chaos pens. There's the colours. They don't... They're not in the same order as they are on the back of the card, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a guess as to which one's which. But they're very nice colours. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, they're really nice colours. I will, like I said, I'm gonna store them upside down. Uh, just overnight. And then I'll colour some uh, words in with it or something, I don't know. I'll find something to uh, colour in, like um I'll get out Jade Summer's positive vibes. And I'll get the, the water brush fills as well and we'll try and uh, blend them with that as well, see how well that goes. But just overall, the colours are really nice, um, even if they don't match what's on the bottom of the box or the back of the box. But I like the colours. I think they're very bright, very nice. Um, and I'm going to look forward to, to using them once I get them charged. Now I'm standing them up now to see uh, to try and get them to do and I will let you know if that actually works and the ink runs through properly so that is all here I will leave a link to the Calm Over Chaos website down below so if you want to go and check out any of their products whether it be the Constellation Glitter Pens, the Brush Pens she does have some oh god what they called watercolour paints as well I haven't tried them yet I have got them and her colouring books which she designs herself I don't know her name I'm sorry but go check out Karma of the Chaos they're a lovely little company based in the UK I will be getting one of the colouring books soon and as soon as I do I will do a flip through I've just got to wait for a, a, my birthday really I think and then I can afford to get one uh, with some birthday money because I know I'm having birthday money from my mum for a start so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.